what's up guys welcome back to the blue comic 805 channel today's video not nothing particular going on today but just not install or anything mostly just picking going to my homie's pad and picking up parts right here the homie james's pad right here is in the garage identity garage with bad business and it's no home and it's bad right now just resting staying away in this crappy california weather right now can't do much in this this weather here so yeah in today's video i just wanted to come out here and just say happy new year guys hope you guys had a good new year and spent with your families or whoever your loved ones out you spent it alone you spent it alone hopefully you were you were safe and you were home and you rested well for those days off but in today's video i just wanted to hop on here and just say just say just say the stuff to the nitty gritty that people won't say to the others to the, see the other side of what people do and don't show on the on youtube which i want to show today it's just just getting down and it's getting dirty and doing it bro because working on these cars buying a fox body every, they always get the question should i buy a fox should i buy a fox body and i my question is always yes but if they t as soon as they tell me like why did i buy this car i always constantly have to work on this car i constantly have to do something else or something something's always wrong with it these cars can just it you know, just make you just want to pick up the branch and just throw it just toss it across 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 the room just the love hate relationship between between these cars but that's how it is man that's how the car the, that's how that's what being a car guy is getting frustrated doing things by yourself doing doing it by yourself not even taking it to your heart to the shop to have them to work on it for you just doing the nitty gritty and getting down and dirty because right now it's like not good weather at all to be doing anything but you have to get you have to get you have to get down and just do it do the work because the only reason why i hopped on i wanted to wanted to make this video is just just give you guys motivation because this video is just motivation for me especially for me because honestly i've been slacking these couple of days freaking just pushing my car on the back burner and back burner because things have happened with my car that I've just been like, oh, I don't know what's wrong with it, something's wrong. But the only reason why I'm like this with my car is because I I put I put like like over over a grand into new parts and new stuff, new clutch, new whole, whole bunch of new bunch of stuff just to refresh my whole car, new radiator, new hoses, everything. It's just putting all those new parts and putting all that hard work and all that money into that car. Just for it to break you know it's just it's always something with these cars these cars are always going to be a love hate relationship don't don't go don't be buying a fox body and thinking life's going to be easy it's not so in today's video i just wanted to sh just wanted to talk about what the situation going on with my car with blue comet the reason why you guys haven't seen it on the channel yet i wish i could have my car back right now but right now it's currently down so i went to the homie came came to the homie james's pad because i had to pick up my new fuel pump from him, from him because i let him have the one that was supposed to go into my car into his because we need he needed it more more than me so let me just open this for you guys real quick this is gonna be the aeromotive aeromotive 340 liter per hour pump e85 compatible and then also here are some freeze plugs and if you guys know what this you guys know what this means one of my freeze plugs took a dump it sucks man because i after putting my car back together doing a whole, whole bunch of stuff to it put it all back together take it on its first drive literally putting less than two miles on my clutch literally 1.5 miles on my clutch and then as soon as i get one block around i just went around the neighborhood of my car get as soon as i'm like one block away from my from my neighbor from my house my car just starts smoking. I'm instantly thinking it's fuel. It's something. Something's on fire. But but nah, tur turns out it wasn't nothing out of those things. Even electrical too. Electrical fires can be crazy, guys. That's why I get scared of wiring as well. That's why I hit up my homies sometimes to help me with this. Like, hey, where do I grab 12 volt power first? Like, cause everyone says like, why you're so you're so dumb, man. Like, like you can get 12 12, 12 volts anywhere. I'm just like, I don't want to cause a fire. I don't want to cause my cause my car to be in flames. I rather have advice and get it from the from the people that I trust and I see what them built with their builds. But yeah, so the so the reason I've been up with all my cars just just me, man. 
I've I've had I've had my pump for like for like two months even before this issue occurred. So let me explain to you the issue of what I'm having right now with my car. So when so as I said, when I took my car on the block, my car started smoking a, like a literally a block before my house. So I pull in, pull into my house, pull into my pull into my house, park it, turn off the car quick, and start diagnosing, see what's smoking, see if it's on fire, get to get in the extinguisher ready, because you never know, guys. You don't want you don't want a fire to go off and you can't do anything about it. You don't, especially, especially for these cars. Like if you go complete race car, like my friend Jameson right here with the full race car, full cage, Kirkies. You're gonna have to have that right now. He doesn't have it mounted right now, but he has this fire extinguisher bottle always mounted in here. He hasn't really driven it that much right now, so he has it out. But so I so I so I got I I just popped up my I popped my hood, checked what was wrong, trying to see where all the smoke was coming from because it wasn't a fire. Oh, well, like it's not a fire and it's still smoking. It's like all kinds of steam and I did it did smell sweet to me, so I was like oh it's gonna be coolant. So I'm looking all over because I did replace the new hoses. I put a new radiator, and I was looking, doing, looking, triple, triple, triple checking all my work that I done. Everything was, everything was right. I'm just like, what? Where is this thing? Where is this thing smoking from? Where is it leaking from? And I'm searching, searching, searching. I can't find it. And so I just let my car, because honestly, the amount of, not disgust. But just the bad taste in your mouth of, of your of something just happening bad even though you put all your all your hard work money into this into this car and also all your all your all your strength into doing all the all things yourself and patience as well because you can't just be bam 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 and just everything's gonna go smoothly something's always gonna happen it's gonna be a seized bowl or rusted out bowl or something that's gonna be stubborn to take off so yeah that's why i let i just cooled off and i and just relax sometimes it's good to just take a little breather and just let your body rest and just just do it come back to it later and so that's what i did i came back like an hour later and i and i go to turn off my car and i was like i really and i look it's not smoking anymore then as, when the car heats up it starts to smoke again i'm just like what the heck and i turn it off and i start looking again and i still can't find it and so i turn it off again and i was like oh, i don't know man so i let the car cool off for a bit so I, I won't be poking around, snooping around, seeing, touching, burning my hands around the engine bay. Because the fire was coming around on the passenger side, rear, on the back of the shock tower. The back of the shock tower here. And I was just curious, like, I wonder how much coolant I'm losing. So I pop open the radiator cap right here. Pop it open. Go to check how much coolant is, 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 um, I lost, which is, was, wasn't that much at the time. And then I hear something just leaking. I'm just like, what the hell is that? And I go into my car immediately and see, like, maybe that's the, that's what's happening Why my car smoking. And turns out, I found out the hard way that my freeze plug finally took a dump on the on the passenger side, right where the starter is at. I'll, I'll, put, I'll put a picture right here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. You'll, ju you'll just see that picture just squirting out coolant. So, yeah, that's the reason why. Oh, I have these three slugs right here that I have to replace. A simple part like this, guys, just seven dollars, man. But just a big headache of either pulling out your entire engine to replace it or trying to do it the easy way of trying to trying to jack up the car and try to and trying to take take it off like that on the what taking off the starter and try to pry it out like that. It's just it's just hard, guys. Like the the, the motivation just just goes away from you guys and all the passion and everything that this car and love that this car gave you is just basically basically just max you in the face like that's where that's where it's just like you want to give up on it it's just like i'm done that's that's what makes these cars sit and that's why you do you don't see these walks while he's around on the streets no more because people give up they just let them sit you see them in people's garages just sitting collecting dust on even in even in the woods you see these cars just you see i mean and all all cars like mustangs not not mustangs and other cars old pickup trucks and stuff you see them in and it was just rotting becoming one with the earth again but yeah that's one of the issues that occurred and then i went to went to go move my car because i had to move my car to do something because i guess they i guess i needed to put something i forgot what i was doing i needed to move the car because it was in front of my driveway so i went to go once you go start my car, I went to go start my car, and 
my car shuts off. I'm just like, what the hell was happening now? It's just stages and events that, that go and go, and you're just like, what is happening to this car? Like, why? I just gave you so, I gave you so much love. Like, why are you doing this to me? You know? Because I don't think of this of a, of my of my Fox Body Comet as just a car, because that car has a lot of sentiment, into value to me, and I really treat that car really good for what it is. I'll get you when my car is back up and running. I'll give you guys or or I'll whenever the weather's clear it up i'll give you guys a better explanation of my car how i got it and how how it's and when, when i got it and how it helped me it helped me um basically move up and also just just show me growth and see like okay if i work hard i'm gonna get this and this and this and just dedication and hard work it showed me the hustle and grind to get the things i wanted to but yeah so i go to move my car my fuel my fuel pump goes out because I'm trying, I'm turning the key on and off, on and off. And I notice the fuel pump isn't priming. Like what the heck? Like why isn't it priming? So I'm, so I'm like, okay, I guess I have to push it. Which it wasn't that far where I had to push it. So it was like literally like less than like ten feet to push it. So I was like, yeah, real quick. And then, then the car didn't want to start because there's no fuel obviously going to the rails, so it's not gonna start. So I go to, I go to, I go to. I go to the next day after to see what's wrong with the diagnosis, see if either the 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 fuel fuel real, fuel pump really under the seat because my car is an eighty nine so the fuel pump really is located underneath the seat. I believe in ninety is an older ninety. I think it's either a mix. It might be up there by the shock tower or either right there under the seat as well. But I know after ninety one they're all right there, on right there on the passenger side. So yeah, I I go to replace that. I go to AutoZone buy a new new relay working fine and then I go to turn the key my fuel pump clicks on but it stays on I honestly don't know I've, I've read it into the forums of corral.net they're saying it either might be the bad either fuel pump's bad I'm hoping the fuel pump's bad because the other option is that my EC, EEC right EEC is out the computer yeah yeah Either my computer is done and the capacitors are just fried and done. But it's an old car. These that computer is like thirty years old. Ancient technology, man. That's why either going with the Holly would be awesome, but Holly doesn't make, make a make a whole kit no more now. You can get around it by by getting it all separate, but it comes out to being more expensive grand total. Well foot versus before before the EPA got 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 Pro on M. everyone. It's the best. Pro M? Yeah. To each their own. It's all preference. That's why. That's why I don't like. Pro M hasn't been put on the map yet, but they're gonna. Yeah, Pro M is where it's at. They got a kit for the Fox bikes, and for the S N ninety five. But yeah, something I have to look on. If I have a bad computer, I have a spare computer I can slap on to see if that's it. But I don't know, man. That's why. That's why I was been. I've been such a a hold on my car, just fixing it, just like. The, just the just the taste the bad taste that leaves in your mouth you know if you guys know what i'm trying to say about that so yeah hopefully i'm gonna try to install this new fuel pump hopefully to fix my issues and then figure out how i'm gonna attack the issue of trying to replace the freeze plug but yeah i just wanted to hop on here today guys because just to just just to tell you guys just don't give up guys these cars you can love them to death and you can always appreciate a love and always love Fox body but with these cars these cars aren't perfect bro these cars have been these cars are all over 30 years old these cars they're coming come, becoming a classic now there's gonna be issues with it there's gonna be electrical groundings there's gonna be a whole bunch of problems that's gonna be developed over years all these issues are all starting to starting to show up now but you just gotta you just gotta not give up because I'm re I'm I, I, I've been close to multiple times just giving up on my car entirely, but I remember that car got me through a whole bunch of stuff, and I know I'm not gonna let that car go, go just sit and die. Oh, like dirty money. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know I'm not gonna let I'm not, I don't want it to be like that car over there. Not yet, at least. But but yeah, man, I just want to tell you guys, just do it, man. Get on the dirt. Get on whatever it is, it is, bro. 
<laughs> if it's drizzling, like right now, it's barely drizzling. It's not really bad, but it's just cold. It just sucks. Like working on your car in the rain. You gotta do what you gotta do, guys. Like today, I'm gonna try try to at least do something with my car. You're lying. At least do try to do something. Cause I there's that there's some stuff I'm in the interior I let I left off of doing just because just of the bad taste that comment left in my mouth so I was like I'm done with this car like I don't want to touch it I don't want to move it I don't want to see it but yeah guys just that's just how it is man like if you're new hopping into the fox body game like these cars these cars are gonna be are gonna be something special when I'm, they are something special now but. They're gonna be even rarer in the future. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to help. I just wanted to hop on here, guys, just because I know I know I'm not the only one that feels this way. I'm I'm pretty sure there's multiple of you guys that feel this way, the same thing as like like how I feel right now. You just gotta roll with the punches, man. You gotta get down on the you gotta get down on the floor. You gotta you gotta go underneath your car. You gotta go on the dirt. You gotta go under. You gotta work on your car in the rain. Whatever you gotta do, you gotta do what it is you gotta do. But, but enough about my rant. I feel like I was ranting too much on this video. But alrighty, guys, I'll catch you guys on the next one. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, please, because I, I do I do reply to everyone's comment. I do appreciate all the support and help that you guys give to me. Like, like with with my homie's car right here, we've been having a little miss with this car. And one of you, one of you guys, commented on that video it might be the bad my bad mass mass airflow sensor or something. So we put a new map. The car ran way, not way better, but just it made an improvement. It made us like a little bit. Still just has the same problem. Though. Yeah, it still has a little problem somewhere, but closer and closer, a little part we're trying to figure out and diagnose what it could exactly be. But you're hearing it from me, for you guys. I'll catch you guys on the next one, and thanks for watching. Ah!